In St. Lucia, businesses are required by law to remit value-added tax charges on their products and services to the government of St. Lucia. Failure to do so can attract fines and penalties. But let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That the government is looking at the laws as they relate to payments of VAT, income tax, etc. Particularly when the money has been deducted, has been taken either from the employee or has been taken either from the purchaser. The government is looking into these laws because it cannot be fair. It cannot be fair that if money is taken away for a purpose, it's not given to the full purpose that it was taken. So we're giving that amnesty. We are waiving all these penalties. We are waiving all these interest charges. We are waiving all these fines. But we're saying to the business community, let's work together so you can benefit and we can benefit. The economic shutdown caused by the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 made it harder for local businesses to generate revenue and meet their financial commitments. Interest on unpaid VAT penalties, along with outstanding VAT remittances to the government, exceed 100 million EC dollars. We are seeing that the people who collected the VAT and did not give it back to the government, there ought to be penalties and fines and interest on that payment. Because you collected it from the government, you ought to give it back to the government. For the people who did not do that, the government is saying, we are going to waive all these penalties and all these fines and all these interests. Value of over $100 million. Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, empathize with the financial challenges confronting St. Lucia's private sector. With the support of his cabinet of ministers and following consultation with the government's fiscal policymakers, the Prime Minister has decided to waive all unpaid VAT penalties owed to the government. That is the dual approach which this government is taking. So we're saying we're going to help the consumer by removing the VAT on billing materials, on some billing materials, selected billing materials. We're saying to the merchants that you, the consumer is getting a break. We're also giving you a break. We are saying to you that you owe the government. You owe us. Because you, that money was taken, VAT was deducted from, was added to the cost of the goods, and it ought to be given back to the government. It wasn't given. So we're saying to you, all the penalties, all the fines, forget it and pay us what you collected. Collectively, St. Lucia's business sector will save more than 170 million EC dollars. Businesses must settle their outstanding tax payments no later than May 1st, 2024, to become eligible for Prime Minister Pierre's generous VAT amnesty. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.